World Mission Report. Calling random numbers. Lubov really wanted to share her love for Jesus in Armenia. So she thought about calling people randomly. It was 1995 and there were only landline phones and randomly calling strangers scared Lubov. For several days she prayed about it, and the desire to make those calls only grew, so she was assured of God's support. The first calls were not encouraging. No one wanted to study the Bible until Lubov called a woman named Olga. The two became friends, studied the Bible, and during a conversation, Olga asked for prayer for her mother-in-law, who was seriously ill. Lubov advised her new friend to visit her mother-in-law and somehow talk to her about salvation in Jesus Christ. So Olga visited her mother-in-law, talked about Jesus, and the woman accepted Christ as her savior, but on the same day she passed away. Sometime later, Olga surrendered her heart to Jesus along with even another relative. Lubov was thrilled three people had been won for Christ over the phone. Another time, Lubov called a woman who passed the phone to her daughter, who had epilepsy and had lost all hope. The girl, whose name was Allah, had difficulty communicating and remained silent during Lubov's attempts to interact. Lubov didn't give up. She prayed and she called again, but Allah remained silent due to her health conditions. Until one day, Lubov began describing the new earth to the girl, and she began to laugh and express joy. The girl's mother picked up the phone and asked what Lubov had said to make her daughter so happy. Well, soon, more people were participating in the Bible study phone calls to learn more about the new earth. After some time, the silent girl surrendered her heart to Jesus, and today, she's a happy Seventh-day Adventist. Lubov thanks God for the opportunity to witness about the gospel through the phone. Part of this quarter's offering will help open an influence center in Armenia. Let's be generous. <laughs>